Dr. Winsome Gordon is the Chief Executive Officer of the Jamaica Teaching Council. And I'm very anxious to understand how the education sector is coping with the extraordinary of trying to purvey instruction, do teaching and learning um, when children are not in school. Dr. Winsome, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Welcome. Thank- nice to have you. It's nice to talk with you, sir. I think that our teachers and our parents need to hear from someone like you as to how they can best cope in circumstances where this unscheduled time away from class is upon them and uh, it seems to me likely to last for a a fairly long time. Give us an update on what you know is happening and what could be happening. We have the Jamaica Teaching Council recognizes that we have leapfrogged into the digital age. We have been talking about the impact of the fourth industrial revolution. Well, we have been forced to go into the digital age. And the teaching and learning context has changed. So our teachers need to be agile, creative, innovative to ensure that our children continue, our students continue to learn. Yes. So we are motivating the teachers because it's new for them. Some teachers are excited about distance education, whether on the digital right. platform or otherwise, and others are a little bit timid. So what we have tried to do as a council is to motivate them. And we have now offered certificates of merit to teachers who can demonstrate to us that they have been able to continue to teach their children. Children have been able to continue to learn. They get a feedback from their children, as I've witnessed in my own environment with my granddaughter, who has just come off the computer with her teacher in a class, in a classroom. So we are... We recognize that teachers are making an effort. Not all teachers, so we are motivating them to get on board in this new age. Well, th- that's that that that's exactly what we want to happen. But can we can we understand and and try to alleviate some of the challenges? Uh, first of all, uh, don't know what school your granddaughter goes to. The the ones my grandchildren go to are where the teachers all have a laptop and and the schools all have internet connectivity. Um, that that is something we need to work towards very quickly. Would you say? Yes. I agree with you. We have to now build the environment. And we have been building it, you know, but slowly, you know, one step at a time, there's no crisis. But in this crisis, we we will, in fact, the ministry started accelerating uh, their efforts to build that environment. Yes, I think it's a, 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 it's a fair price, you know, for the uh, the licenses that these telecommunications companies have, and which we're very glad they do so well to make such profits from, that they should, in 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 return, give us uh, a, a, a a much greater coverage of internet of as many, if not all, of our schools across Jamaica. What does the, what does the, the chief executive officer of the teaching council think of that? A brilliant idea. In fact, I have been having discussions with Digicel about some of our schools that are really remote and would benefit from access to to the services. So, they, I know, they're looking into the possibilities and the cost. They are partnering, except also Flo, they are partnering with the Ministry of Education at this moment on a program mm-hmm. it's, it's labeled one on one it's a learning management system right. and schools are involving are, are getting um, opportunity are using the opportunity of the one on one to reach their students at first they started with C-Second Cape but now they're mm-hmm. working towards reaching the students in the other forms so, so we are, we are not uh, going as fast as we'd like to because of course resources yeah. are, are limited Yes. Well, they shouldn't be limited for this one, but let me t- let me say that this is so vital. I want to commend the R.J. Gleaner Group, uh, of which we are a part, with their partnership with the Ministry of Education too, uh, in in order to 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 use their platforms uh, to to purvey lessons for. I think it's most grades there at most levels. Which is excellent. I, in fact, it I is. like the response of the private sector. 
Yes, well, the second that... actually responded. Yes. What, what I'm hoping is that we can use the more conventional media. Uh, if, if, for example, we had a free-to-air uh, television channel, or if we were to use the uh, the, 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 the long time, but not, uh, but, but, which work very well, the capacity of radio, which most people have access to, Dr. Gordon. Remember when Lloyd Hall used to teach us culture, um, and, and Miss Lou, uh, by, by virtue of the radio, it worked, you know? It worked for me. When I was in elementary school, Lloyd Hall was already singing, sing, uh, <laughs> having a singing group. It worked yes. for me. Well, there it is. So, Music these are things program. that are Yes, they're available, and we can use it not only to teach these platforms, all of them, whichever is, is available, not only to do traditional subjects, but it's a marvelous opportunity to, to, to roll out what I call social education. Isn't that a, wouldn't that be a tremendous need and advantage now? Yes, and you're correct about radio. The radio yeah. reaches most people in Jamaica. I could almost say all. Yes. And so we should use the radio more strategically, especially right. now that we want to help our teachers to understand how to create the online platform, how to create the online classes, because they're right. actually different from face-to-face -face classes. How they, well, they put their, their lessons in learning bits that children enjoy, because a child is not just going to sit down and look at a television or a listener radio just so indefinitely. No, so it has to be yeah. has to be very creative, eh? Yes, yes. Tell me, are, are you relying on is the Jamaica Teaching Council relying on uh, teachers' native ability, or is there an intentional process of training teachers to do better in this? arena of virtual education? Both. The colleges long ago started teaching the teachers to use uh, media to mm -hmm. enhance their learning. So it's part Good. of their training program already. No, mm -hmm. because there wasn't any crisis. Some applied what they learned and some probably didn't bother. So I know that at least for the last 10 years, the teachers coming out of teachers' colleges have been exposed to how to right. use media to to motivate learning. Yeah. Now they are forced to apply what they learned, and we will mm -hmm. back up with training because we know they need some. Not I wouldn't even call it training. I would say it's orientation, discussion, opportunities. We just need to give ideas to the teachers. Their basic they basic knowledge they have. Yes, that's good. And there would be a number of older teachers, perhaps, who weren't exposed to that college experience and who would need to be, uh, to, to, would need specific uh, uh, hand-holding for them to be fair. Yes. Yes. Good. And that and, we and want to do. We want to right. work with radio, as I discussed mm -hmm. with you some time yes. ago. We'd like yes. to work having radio programs out there for teachers mm -hmm. to access. And also yeah. to remove the fear of the computers because some just, it's not in their age. I don't mean mm -hmm. age in terms of chronological age, but it wasn't in their yes. age of training. During their time. No. Yes, during their tra time of training. Yes. So, so I, I, we want to update them, work yes. with them, dialogue with them, and build confidence Among that. with the use of the, <laughs> the new technologies. Tell me though. But, but when we come back from the, to the short break, which I'm asking you to indulge us, what is a, what is the objective? Are we are we trying to make it so that the the the, 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 the virtual experience will be equivalent to the term in school that we are largely missing? Uh, are we thinking and planning that? After all, this may go on for a while, Dr. Winsome Gordon, and uh, we have to adapt to this modality for the rest of this, this academic year. Are we accepting that a virtual education for most, uh, given the spottiness of technological capacity may not, and other things, may not quite take us where a full terms work would, 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 would have done, done and how do we adjust to that? Big questions about the education system. This is vital. It's teaching and learning. We're going nowhere unless we fix this one. Soon come to increase the professional standards to be the quality control body of the teaching profession in Jamaica. It's part of a transformational venture that Jamaica is in the midst of and will never cease uh, trying to achieve higher and higher levels.
Dr. Gordon, what is our intent? Are we just trying a thing because that's the best we can do in the crisis of everybody being out of school? Or do we really think, is there any preliminary assessment that would lead us to think that this can actually be the equivalent of a terms uh, well spent? I am, I am almost certain, and I only say almost because you always have the slip up, that at the level of CSEC and the CAPE, the education should come close to what happens in a face-to-face class because they started before, before this crisis. They started, CSEC, CXC started this online program before. Yes. And so, and Green, of course, has its youth link. Yes. So information and learning opportunities have been available for some time. So now, I am reasonably comfortable that most children can access CSEC and CAPE education. Now, for the lower levels, that's where we have a challenge because we are just coming on stream. Mm -hmm. We are just looking at how we can reorganize the program so that most of it can be delivered uh, through the digital media or distance media, distance education, however we want to put that, and how the, the, the learning can be translated into home so that the projects can be done at home. The learning outcomes will be the same, but the projects and the, the, the creative activities would be related around what happens at home. And so it's a translation of the curriculum into these practical, realistic uh, sections. Okay, are we going to, be, to try and evaluate uh, how we're doing because it seems to me that 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 we, the last thing we want is to uh, is is to fall short and and and, uh, and not realize it, or on the other hand, to do very well and perhaps uh, b- discount the, the the achievement. Uh, I, I'm just particularly worried about the sixth grade six students being absolutely ready for grade seven, and indeed at each level of the grade system, we, we need to be sure that. Um, that, that the students are going to be are going to achieve the objectives that are appropriate to that level. How can we uh, uh, how can we do this? Do you think we have already put out an online form asking teachers because we are on Facebook, we are on the social media, Twitter, Instagram, asking teachers please fill in the form, feedback to us so we can see what we're doing, and of course we have the education officers out there who are in touch with their schools and their teachers. So we're working on strategies for feedback. We tend to, like any other country, I think, we focus education on inputs. But now we're shifting gears, emphasizing outputs, what is happening at the other end. And you will find that the Ministry of Education is fully engaged in doing that. What will be the important? What would be the objective tests that we, we, we can use? Will there be the same uh, external examinations um, or, or are we going to have to depend more upon teachers' assessments of their own students? Is that, it, it doesn't that open a, 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 an avenue for some, some questionable practices? Uh, Dr. Gordon, think through these processes with me and it's acknowledged that we may not have all the answers yet but we need to know what the direction is going to be. First thing I'd like to say to you is that the assessment, the meaning of assessment is changing. Because when you give a child a test online, you're no longer there to watch. What I see happening in my own house is that the children are able to do the test over and over until they learn the concepts of the test. It is changing the, it is changing the concept of what assessment is well, I don't know if it's changing. It's, it's emphasizing the learning dimension of assessment. Yes. yes. Because the children now have the opportunity to teach themselves and go back to the test. Yes, that's it's, good. It's a value that we should not underestimate. Because no. remember, we are coming out of hide your book, don't show the next one, study and pass this thing. Yes. We are moving away from that because information is accessible. 
Okay, so I, we have to. But, but we do have we do have to to form an opinion of 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 whether that student has in fact, after all of the repetition, all of the study aids, all of the information overload almost or accessibility, that they have in fact grasped enough to move to the second le- to another level. Eh? And this the ministry is working on. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just anxious. What about what will happen with those who are um, in in have to be placed in universities or have to be placed in high schools? Uh, these are things. Uh, those, those who make those decisions are accustomed to objective tests uh, almost entirely. And what we're saying is, look, this is this is this is being transformed. How do you think we can mesh this? Actually, C C X C. Mm-hmm. has already started with online examinations. And uh, while I don't think they, they provide an online examinations for all their subjects, they have started. Mm-hmm. And the Ministry of Education has an examination department, and maybe one day you'd want to talk to Mrs. Gale. Uh, they have to take into consideration our situation now yes. and, uh, and make the changes and adjustments according to what the technology can offer. Right. Uh, I, I'm anticipating uh, what, what we ha- we're going to have to do uh, in midsummer with the usual assignment to high schools, which if there's anything more controversial and heartrending, it, 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 it's that, you know. And if, if, if students have been exposed to this kind of education, this kind of instruction, um, that, that raises all kinds of questions as to how you grade, as to how you uh, you distribute, and I'm, I'm, we're looking forward to wisdom and suggestions, leadership coming from the ministry in this regard. Yes, and we, in the discussions, what will come up, you know, is how we use examination to select examination to actually use to stratify the stratify society you know yes we know that how, how do we now use this examinations to make sure that every trade is important within the society yes and that's a change that i expect will come out of this Okay, I, I hope so. And it would <clears throat> for it to happen, there will have to be correlative in additional investment, of course, yes. in some of, of those schools that, um, so that the, so all schools, so that they can in fact have some basic equality of of, of opportunity. Eh? That's right, and that <clears throat> is what that's my prayer for this experience. You know, in every crisis, you can find an opportunity. <laughs> yes. And I am looking for the opportunities in this crisis. I don't know if I'll make it through, but yes. I hope that mm-hmm. the opportunities created will now bring some changes, socioeconomic changes that we yes. need in our society. Yes. Is, is it a concern that the 190 days minimum of, uh, of instruction uh, is is isn't hardly going to be achieved this year because of this crisis uh is is there a thought uh what is your view in terms of the extending of the school year or do we simply say look this is unavoidable you know 190 days that we have written in the document is 190 days of mm-hmm. contact time assuming that schools have children engaged in teaching and learning process for 190 days. What may very well come out of this experience is that the the number of hours that children are really engaged in teaching and learning may come up the percentage of hours may may be higher. It is a possibility. Probably for your grandchild and mine, but I doubt it for the for for the child in the rural uh, school their parents listening to us today, you know, Dr. Gordon. That's a major challenge. It is. The rural schools, I'm thinking of Old Pira, Field, you know those schools in the hills? Hanover, Uh many of the schools in Hanover. We have to now focus on them because the digital age can become exclusive too. Well, this is it. It can, (laughs) yes. And the stratification can 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 be related not to to, to the teacher's verb or the student's ability, but to the technological incapacity, you know? That's right. Before you go, I need a word from the Chief Executive Officer of the Jamaica Teaching Council to the many uh, parents listening to us. <clears throat> many of them are 
uh, puzzled at how they, their children are coping with this time. They feel that there's an added responsibility on their behalf, which they may, may be uh, shy to acknowledge uh, challenges. Not all have uh, b- response relationships with their children's teachers. What can we say to them? Because they p- obviously form a very vital part of the success of this new paradigm. I would encourage parents. I know it's challenging for some parents. Because it's one thing when you can sit with a computer and with your child or with a cell phone and your child. That's that's one dimension. But yeah. there are parents who really can contribute very little to their children's education. And so I would co- encourage them not to be not to be desperate. Yes. The Ministry of Education recognizes that this challenge will exist and they are working to make the, the teaching and learning so simple that the children can self-learn. You know, self-instruction was around so many decades ago and the, the, the education was organized. The, the learning process was organized so that ch- the child can teach itself. And so we are trying to restructure the curriculum. Right now, Dr. Flowers is working on the curriculum to make sure that the the teaching and learning is not dependent on whether or not a parent is literate. Wow, that that would be a major challenge. We want to, we, we 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 would love to track that process with you. Fitfulness, it's going bound to be. That is something that can make a huge difference. Certainly, that's a that's a good lead. Before you go, uh, please tell us about the certificate of merit program that you're planning for teachers. Who qualifies? What are the criteria? Well, we have set out the criteria. The teacher should show <coughs> that he or she develops his or her own resources use existing resources as well and create supporting materials for distance lessons to show how the, the content has been redesigned to fit the, the, the medium on which it's transmitted to promote the content in very interesting ways yes. and, and reinterpret the content in the child's location yes. and to engage the feedback students to engage the students so they can get feedback right. on the work that the students do. Well, we want to track this with you. You, you you're offering uh, the, the the possibility of this this certificate to all teachers now. Is there a is there a time when they will be assessed? Is there a time when we can share with you the celebration of their achievements? Well, we are looking at <coughs> how long this situation may last. Mm. End of the year, I would want to get report from teachers by the end of the school year end of the school year yes i okay. want to get those reports in. and we we would like to encourage every teacher to see this as being a great achievement one that can be for their benefit and <clears throat> what a wonderful thing if we had alternative if not new normative me- me- methods of teaching and learning dr gordon we're on to something thanks so much for today thank you too sir All and really. we look forward to continued co cooperation, collaboration we're, we're as we navigate in this, regard. this new era. Indeed. Dr. Winsome Gordon is the Chief Executive Officer of the Jamaica Teaching Council. I need it. We need that detail. You parents, grandparents, teachers, students, you need that detail. We can't afford to miss a beat in teaching and learning. Uh, during this difficult period, it should occupy our time and we should be sure to spur each other on to achievements and effort in this regard.